Woody, how are you this morning? I'm doing great, Dan. How are you? I'm doing okay. What's the weather forecast? How are we looking for tonight's Game 3? I think for, for October baseball, it's going to be beautiful. I think we're going to be pushing 70 degrees tonight. So it's going to be, uh, it's going to be great. The wind's going to be blowing out probably 20, 25 to 30 miles an hour. And it should be some fireworks. How did you pitch? Did you pitch differently when you looked at the conditions, if the wind was blowing in or blowing out at Wrigley? Uh, the only thing I did differently was the first, usually the first two months of the season where the wind's just howling in and it's freezing cold. Um, I threw more fastballs. I just challenged guys down the middle of the plate. You can get away with that in the first couple months. Um, outside of that, I mean, Wrigley's, when it warms up, it's always blowing out. So um, it's definitely it's definitely two different ballparks when the, te- when the season changes. But, um, you know, tonight the, the winds shifted last night, and there's, they're going to be blowing out tonight and tomorrow night. So, um, yeah, you better keep the ball down. Did you ever have one of those days when you threw a pitch and somebody almost accidentally hit it out? And you're like, what the hell is going on here? Yeah, yeah, we have those. I, I actually was. Uh, we were talking last night, Matt Clement and uh, and Pryor in town for the for the games as well. And we were we were talking last night. Matt Clement had a game when he was here that uh, I, was, I remember a shortstop going pop pop up in the infield. It looked like a high, <laughs> high pop up. The shortstop goes out a little bit and lands in the basket. <laughs> How tough is that though? When you you just realize that you can't do anything about the elements there. Yeah, there's nothing you can do when it's like you just you pray for rain. Hopefully it gets rained out before the fifth. <laughs> uh, the Schwarber decision, your thoughts on uh, the Cubs deciding not to put him out there? Uh, from a fan standpoint, obviously it's uh, would love to see him in the lineup. From a from a, the other standpoint, I think it's the right decision. I think uh, this, this kid's future is too bright um, and to, to be taking that kind of a chance with him. Um, you know, you feel like you're taking a chance anyways. He's already out running the bases, and if he has to stop and go back, and I think they're more concerned from the side-to-side lateral movements than they are forward and backwards, so um, are, are stopping and going. So I tell you what, he's looked he's looked impressive. Uh, you just you just don't see a kid take anyone take that much time off and, and come back and see the ball the way he's been seeing it. So he's he's uh, he's locked in. If you had a draft right now. For the Cubs, let's put both teams together, but I'm going to guess your, your first pick will be a Chicago Cub. Who would be your number one pick to build a team around? Jeez. Oh, uh, man. It's tough to not say Schwarber or Bryant, these bats. It's tough to not build around these bats, but um, with with what Hendricks has done this year with the ball on the mound, and I'm a big believer in pitching and defense, and um, that's a tough question. I think there's a lot of guys on this team you could build around. I think we've got five or six, and they're all about 24 years old, so uh, it's tough. Yeah, I don't know if I could name just one guy. I, I guess just being a pitcher, I would say, man, I don't know. You got obviously Arietta's doing what he's done in the last year and a half, two years, and um, no, I think you got. I think you got a choice to pick from from the Cubs. I think you got four or five guys to choose from. Are they better than Kluber? I don't know. How old is Kluber? McLovin, would you check see how old? Uh... Kluber is? It feels like he's a little bit older than these guys. Yeah. 30. He's 30, yeah. All yeah. Right. All right, so you're not going to go that that direction. Is is Hendricks going to be the Cy Young winner? Man, I tell you what, I, I didn't get to see everybody else pitch on a, on a consistent basis, but I watched this kid in spring training, and uh, you know, I spent a few weeks with him in spring training and came back and told some buddies, I'm like, Hendricks is going to win 15, 17 games and you know, surprise a lot of people. They're like, Kyle Hendricks? And I was like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and what did he win, 16? He won 16 games and they had the ERA title for the season. I mean, I don't think we expected the ERA thing. This kid just, he knows what he's doing. He's not afraid of any situation. His change is devastating. He's just, uh, he's like a little mini Maddox. Obviously, he's got a long way to go to to, to get that recognition, but he is, uh, he's definitely a professor out there. He's Kerry Wood, the former Cubs pitcher, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. Um, what did you make of uh, some suggestions that Steve Bartman threw at the first pitch at a game at Wrigley? I think it's a great idea next year. Yes. If you win. Yeah, if you win, absolutely. Let Pryor catch the pitch, let him throw it out, or, or let uh, Alex Gonzalez catch the pitch the first pitch, let him throw it out. Or How about Moises Alou? Moises, yeah. They can throw it out together, holding hands. <laughs> <laughs> Would Pryor catch the first pitch from Bartman? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I would say yes. I don't if, see why not. If, you, if the Cubs won the World Series, I would imagine Moises Alou or, or uh, Mark Pryor would catch that first pitch. Yes, I would think. I would have to believe so. Because see, yeah, I would, I'd say let's win it first, and then, then we can discuss that. Well, my concern would be if you had Bartman throw out the first pitch now and you lose the game, yeah. 
Can't take that chance. No, 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 you can't. Uh, I was also talking up, uh, Paulie, uh, my producer, is obsessed with Mark Grace and the fact that uh, he did what he did playing all those day games at Wrigley. I said, Gracie wasn't a big partier. I mean, he would go out a little bit, but he was kind of lame. You were his yeah. roommate for a little while, right? Yeah, he was a smart partier. A smart <laughs> partier. Yeah. See, at home in Wrigley, when you have all day games, you just got you start earlier, so you got to finish earlier, right? The guys that come over here from other teams and they start partying like they do after a normal game, all of a sudden they've got two or three extra hours on their belt by the time they go to bed, and those guys don't make it through the season. So Gracie figured out how to party smart. Uh, why is uh, Sammy Sosa estranged from the Cubs? I don't know. I don't know. I think uh, he was such a pivotal part of this, this organization and the history of this team. So I, I, you know, I've, I've pulled for him to, to try to come back and, and get it right. And he will eventually. They'll get it, they'll get it figured out. I'm not sure what, what the holdup is, but uh, I think, I think it would be great to see Sammy be a part of all this stuff. Who's throwing out the first pitches? I have no idea. So they didn't ask no you? I threw out last round. I got game six last round. Yeah. You're not World Series? Your stuff's not filthy enough for World Series? No, no, no. I think they say that stuff for the Hall of Fame guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Rhino? Rhino, I would imagine. Billy Williams. I would imagine Fergie would probably come out. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. yeah that'd be great. Uh, I hope I don't see Bartman now that you said that. Well, they're not. They can't have him throw out the first pitch. No, I would not. I would not hope so. Do you think somebody's going to do an actual movie that's based on Bartman? Not a documentary, but that we do a movie based on Bartman? I don't, yeah, I mean, I don't know. They haven't done it yet. I mean, to his credit, listen, he could have, he could have written a few books. He could have had a movie out. He could have made a bunch of money off this thing. And uh, he's, never, he's never done one interview. I've reached out to him a couple times. I know Dusty reached out to him. I know some other players have tried to reach out to him. Uh, and he's just stayed away. I don't, I don't blame him. The guy's life was ruined by two seconds of his life and the decision he made. So I can't blame the guy. But uh, I, I think they should... Let's win this thing, squash all the curses, and and uh, and get these people back involved in the organization because he was he was a he was a big Cubs fan. Well, what what were you going to say to him if you got a hold of him? I just wanted to you know grab a beer and be like, dude, what were you thinking? <laughs> 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 but no, I, I think just just yeah, I just want to sit down with him and apologize, hear his story, and just see what his life's been like the last you know twelve fifteen years. I think it's been. Uh, you know, he had a rough go. It was a it was a crazy crazy time for everybody. But his life was the one that was changed, not ours. But you guys were leading, and it it's Gonzalez makes an error right after that. I mean, there were so many other people to blame than this poor guy down the yeah, left absolutely. field. Absolutely, but when you're that hungry for a championship, and and you don't know when you're going to get back there next, and I don't know, I think just it, it, it yeah, no, he just did what every other fan did, and we would have all done the same. Do you imagine though? I always wonder about the guy next to him. Because that guy was about, what, a foot away from having his life ruined. If, yeah. if, if he says, no, get out of the way, I'm going to go get this foul ball. Yeah. There was like six or seven other sets of hands in there. That <laughs> I know. <could> have been. <laughs> and it just turned out to be his. Uh, have fun tonight. Are you going? Yeah. Yeah, I'm taking the family, so I'll have the kids there tonight. And Look at hopefully you. Hopefully we get to, get to see the first uh, World Series W at Wrigley Field in a long time. Do you buy tickets or do you gift tickets to you? I bought tickets. Did you really? I did. I had a gifted rate. At a gifted rate. Oh. But is, yeah, I is everything I started okay? A couple months ago, trying to make sure I tracked these things down. <laughs> I wanted to, have, wanted to make sure I had tickets for this. I just want to make sure everything's okay with you and the Cubs here, Woody. That you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, we've got to still have a decent relationship. <laughs> okay. I haven't screwed that up yet. Uh, have fun and uh, great to talk to you. Great talking to you. We'll All right, you that's Kerry Wood. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.